How's it going everybody? Somebody wanted me to show how to export a 3D model from Maya and import it into Amazon Lumberyard. So that's what we're going to do real quick. We're going to take this trash can from the Beach Cities level, the demo level, and replace it with a chair, because why not? You can get a model off of TurboSquid or make your own. In this case, I'm not really an artist, so I got a .mb, which is a Maya 2014 model and also it came with some textures which was in this chair.rar so I have those downloaded here open up Maya through here and unzip the textures here let's first export the model as an FBX we could have just downloaded the FBX but let's just try exporting it from Maya so select your geometry. They have some settings here, some newer ones for Maya 2016 for exporting directly to Unity or Unreal or even something called a game exporter. But I don't know what version of Maya you're running so I'm just gonna do export selection. And you just have to make sure that, that you have the FBX export option. If you don't, you may have to install that plugin but you should have it. So FBX export for the file type. And for the settings, you can go with the, the automatic settings for the preset Autodesk Media and Entertainment. You really don't need all this though. You just need the geometry. In this case, it's a smooth mesh. If you wanted to, you could turn off the animation. Turn off the camera. This is a basic model, so I don't know if it even has these things but you may wanna just turn them off. Embed media is off by default with this preset. Now embed media is supposed to create the uh, object, the FBX object, including the textures, but um, I'm not seeing that happening, so it doesn't seem to work, at least not with FBXs. So I just uh, uncheck this anyways. Everything else, default. And this is the plugin I'm running. All right, so I'm just going to save this on my desktop as chair. Export selection. You should see a message down here showing you that it's been exported to my desktop. All right, going to the desktop, here it is. You could open this up in any program that supports 3D models, like even Visual Studio here supports 3D models, you'll see it there. And it does have the texture, so I guess I was wrong. But for Lumberyard, it doesn't seem to import the texture. So I'll show you what we need to do for that. Go to where you installed Lumberyard, go to Dev, and you should have the Beach City level and textures. Now I'm just gonna drop in those textures that we unzipped in the download folder. All right, so unzip the chair RAR. We have a bunch of textures here, the normal, the diffuse, and this specular. Just drag these into the textures, textures folder for Beach City. You might wanna put them in a subfolder to keep it organized, but for this tutorial, let's just drop them in here. Now open up Beach Cities, go to View, Open View Pane, Import geometry from FBX. This is what we want since we have an FBX. Now browse to the desktop where we exported the chair. Chair FBX. And it's kind of hard to see, but there's a check box here. You have to check this. And then import. And this is going to have you choose where you want to import it. We're going to import it to Beach City slash objects. And it's going to be imported as a CGF, which is the model type that uh, Lumberyard uses. Not going to mess with the scale. We'll, we'll do that manually. I'm not going to mess with the units or the origin or anything like that. I'm just going to import. And since this is a small model, it shouldn't take but a second. Close this. Now we can select the object we want to replace. You'll see the geometry directory right here. If you don't see this, make sure you have options. 
all right so you might not have this open but when you select it make sure you go to brush params select this icon here and then select objects to go to the objects folder and you'll see our chair CGF right here this is what we just imported and you'll see it doesn't have that wooden texture it's just going to use the basic red default texture so open and it's really small you can't really see it so I'm going to scale select the scale tool and down here I'm gonna scale it up by 12 and the X Y and Z just to be safe and there you go that's your chair you can move it around if you're worried about selecting other objects you can just go lock selection and now the only thing I can select is the chair and you can move it or if you really wanted to you could rotate it whatever see the texture that's the default texture I talked about we'll change that to the textures we dragged into the beach cities textures folder so to do that go under brush you'll see material MTL no custom material set right now so let's create a new material I created one already but to do this I'll do it again you just right click any material uh, duplicate in this case I'll rename it to new chair so now we need to set the diffuse normal map and specular so over here under texture maps select diffuse select this little search dot 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 we want to go to the textures folder right now it's in the textures messages folder so select this textures icon and you'll see right here is where all the textures that we imported are so select diffuse and then you want to do normal map that's this one says normal and specular there we go that looks good and make sure we set it to the selected object which is our, which is our chair it's this icon right here assign item to selected objects and if you close this you'll see we now have a wooden chair texture so that's it for this tutorial let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching like and subscribe